Good evening. Thank you all for being here tonight. On behalf of my family and the Kennedy Library Foundation, I want to thank you for joining us in celebrating political courage and for supporting President Kennedy's legacy. My mom and dad couldn't be here tonight, but they send their best, and you're stuck with me. <laughs> None of this would be possible without some important people who I now recognize. Thank you, Ron Sargent, for your leadership and your friendship. I know how much my parents appreciate you. Ron's steady hand has been guiding the JFK Library Foundation into the future, and we're so grateful for it. And thank you to Alan Price and Rachel Floor for leading the library and the foundation. She couldn't be here tonight, but I want to also recognize Archivist of the United States, Dr. Colleen Shogan, for her partnership and vision in leading the National Archives. And another thank you to our lead sponsor, RTX Corporation, for your long-standing support of the library's mission. I also have to thank the members of the Profile and Courage Selection Committee, who I serve with, who are here. We rely on their wise counsel every year and good humor. It's no easy task, but it's a fun job, and I'm so grateful for your help. Thank you to Mark Allen, Congressman Joaquin Castro, Carlos Curbelo, Senator Christopher Dodd, and Ron Sargent for being here. Thank you. And a final thank you to Michael Adams and his family, Christina and Lucia. Behind every profile and courage is a, is a strong family, and we're, would you please stand to be recognized because we're so grateful for your presence. Tonight, we're celebrating in our Sunday best, enjoying a beautiful evening in Boston and great company. Summer's almost here. You can feel it in the air. But behind me, the waters are calm and peaceful in the harbor where the American Revolution began. Beneath the tranquil surface of this moment in our daily lives, the waters aren't so still. Every moment, the most important election in history draws nearer. Good things and bad things often come at the same time. In the moment, it's not easy to tell which is which. Clarity comes with hindsight. Looking back, it's the tough times that mean the most. Our proudest achievements are the obstacles we've overcome with courage and perseverance. As my grandfather said, not because it's easy, but because it is hard. That brings us to why we're here tonight. Courage was the quality my grandfather admired most. Grace under pressure, as he defined it. This award celebrates men and women who put the national interest ahead of their own. JFK's legacy is kept alive by the political courage of our leaders today. Let me tell you why. We don't have one election for president in America. We have more than 50. Each state runs its own election. Under our Federalist system, secretaries of state are the chief election officers in charge of administering our elections. They serve on the front lines of democracy. Free and fair depends on their competency and character. 2020 was a dramatic moment in the life of our country and for Michael Adams. Adams was first elected Secretary of State in Kentucky in 2019. Back then, it wasn't a high-profile job, but that changed just a few months after he took office. The pandemic put Secretaries of State in the, in the spotlight as they worked to meet the moment. For Adams, it was a defining moment. As a Republican elected by a razor-thin margin, conventional wisdom said not to work with the other side, especially not on a hot issue. But Adams put country first and election, and election integrity first before his party or personal interests. During the pandemic, he worked closely with Democratic Governor Andy Bashir to expand absentee and early voting and provide three extra days of in-person voting. That wasn't easy, and he took a lot of heat for it. His efforts to protect ballot access and respect the results of the 2020 election made him a target. The vast majority of his party opposed him. Adams, his staff, even his family received death threats and physical confrontations. And members of his own party recruited two challengers to unseat him in a primary. It got so bleak that in 2020, Adams believed his political career might be over. He responded with optimism and courage. His strategy was simple, but not easy. He focused on communicating the facts with voters who didn't believe the election was safe or secure. He took time to explain specifics about why absentee and early voting were safe. 
and it worked. In 2023, the same man who won by a hair in 2019 was now the top Republican vote getter in Kentucky. He won 118 out of 120 counties. Back in 2020, two thirds of Republicans in Kentucky opposed absentee voting. By 2023, 60% voted absentee themselves. After COVID ended, Adams championed bipartisan legislation that made permanent many of these COVID era changes, a bill he calls the most important election law update in Kentucky in 100 years. Secretary Adams is being recognized tonight not for opposing the GOP. He is a committed and lifelong Republican. He's a profile in courage because he put himself, his family, and his career on the line to protect the right to vote. We honor his political courage tonight by casting our ballots in November. His sacrifice is a great reminder to all of us. The right to vote is sacred. Don't throw it away by staying home or voting for someone who can't win. Thank you all. I'm honored to now welcome to the stage the recipient of the 2024 John F. Kennedy Profiles and Courage Award, Secretary of State Michael Adams. Thank you.